Hello and welcome back to the Unity Dots series. In a group of lessons here, we're going to take a look at some different topics about learning the fundamentals of Dots. So hello, my name's Sam. I'm a Unity game developer with over a decade of experience with over 20 years in total doing game dev with various technologies and now getting into Dots as an alternative way to do development inside Unity. So a quick overview about Dots. If you do want to learn more, check out the link uh, above and also in the bio below for a video that covers more of the basics. But Unity Dots is data-oriented technology stack. It's a combination of three key technologies, Unity Jobs, Unity Burst, and Unity ECS. So if you want to see more about the basics of that, check out the links and we'll move forward here. And now a brief introduction to the RMC Dots library. So this is something that I created custom. It's available on Git. If you want to learn more about what it is and what's inside of it, you can take a look at the link above and the link again in the description below. The RMC Dots library provides new features and demos built on top of Unity Dots. Dots, again, is Jobs, Burst, and ECS, as well as some other supporting libraries. And inside the RMC Dots library, you have the library itself, which has some helpful features, and then samples built on top of it. We're going to take a look at one of the samples today, which talks about different lessons learning your way along with Dots. So how do we get the samples? Well, they're all sitting on Git, links below, and there's two different flavors of it. You can get the RMC Dots package and bring it into your existing Unity project. That's great for production use case, and it has the examples you can pull in as well. Or what I call the RMC Dots examples repo has that plus a Unity project, and that's what we're going to jump into. Now, the benefit of choosing the RMC Dots examples repo is that it, because it includes that Unity project, everything's set up. You open it up, and it just works. You don't have to install any of the packages or dependencies that are needed for Dots or my flavor of Dots. Then you just open up the Unity Hub, point to the Unity folder, and voila, you're now working in a fairly empty assets package, as we'll see here. And then you can optionally bring in some of the RMC Dots samples, which we're gonna look at the, the lesson sample today. So let's see this in action. Let's do a quick check of the package manager just to see what we've got involved. So I'll make this nice and big for us. So here we've got the RMC Dots package. We've got, because we've chosen the RMC Dots examples repo, it has all of the different Unity dependencies that we need. Most importantly, entities, but there's lots of other ones that are in there for as well. And for RMC Dots, we can go over to the samples here and we can choose the lessons. Now, before I click on the lessons, I just wanna show that here in the packages, that the RMC Dots library sits down here in packages. So if you're familiar with how Unity organizes their packages, it works just like that. Anything you pull from the package manager sits down there. And that is generally not editable content. We just use those libraries. Then inside of our assets folder is where we build our actual game. And here we have read and write access. Now, I don't really need to have anything inside here, but what I chose to do is to include the uh, URP rendering, just so that all these examples play really nice. But if you want to replace that, no problem. Uh, but that's already wired up and ready to go. Just, just hit play and the scene works. And then I have this readme that includes some instructions about how to bring in these samples. So I know how to do it. So I just go to the samples. I go to RMC Dots right here. And there's the RMC Dots lessons, library demos, game samples, and game templates. So that's wrapping it up here for taking a look at this particular demo. We've looked at lessons and how to get the lessons project and get that out of our RMC Dots library. Dig into the code in the source. Again, link below to everything that we talked about today. Thanks very much. I am available for remote contract hire as a Unity game dev doing traditional game object approach as well as Unity Dots development. And also I'm an educator available to create and deliver courses in person and online pre-made courses or live. And I would love to do more talking about VR, AR, Dots, Web3, and game development with Unity in general. So thanks very much.